all up in the building. We just got off FaceTime, and, and Scar probably don't even know how legendary Cardinal Official is. I'm sure after this, you'll go do your research, right? Uh-huh. But I feel like a lot of people now are just reaching out and just super proud of you and excited for what's going on. And how's it feel? Because we spoke maybe a few months ago, right? Yeah. But the energy today is a lot different than when we first spoke. So how how does it feel now with people, like, paying attention to you? It feels good. It feels like a dream, really, because before you remember when I came up here, I was grinding. Right. I was like, yo, glizzy gobbler, you feel me? I right. was just like, fuck with it, fuck with it. But, you know, it wasn't really that. Mm. But, like, now I see everything is, like, going up, and I'm just, like, it's like a dream come true. And people are paying attention now, so... Do you feel like there's more pressure on you, like a little bit? It's more pressure on me, but it's a lot of pressure <laughs> on me because everybody want to know, like, how did you get this song? Yeah. And what's next? So tell us, this is New York. Where did it come from? What made you say, yo, this is the record I'm going to go with, or just the way you created it? Well, I created it from a, like, I was angry as hell when I made that <laughs> song because I'm like, get the fuck out of New York. Because mm-hmm. I just be seeing a lot of this these cats corny, mm-hmm. whack, and I'm like, yo, this shit is not New York. This is New York. Right. And my managers had a lot to do with me releasing the track, you know, like, they was like, this the one. I was like, you sure this is the one? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I got a whole bunch of them, but they was like, this is the one. I was like, yo, we just gonna push this one. Were you directing it at anybody? Are you, like, coming for somebody, or is just it's anybody just... that not from New York? Because oh. maybe there was a girl that, like, got you tight, and you was like, you know what? Let me diss the low key diss her real quick. That's not from New York. It was just, like, so much bullshit. And it's like, where's New York? Mm. Like, wh- I'm seeing a lot of niggas from New York, but, right. like, Who's really where's from that here? New York shit? Right. So I said, yo, this is New York. Like, this is the real New York. I had to let them know that. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> even in the video, you getting, like, you know what I'm saying? A little aggressive. But we're used to that side of you, right? Seeing that aggressiveness. But I just feel like you included a lot more people, especially in the video. You know, like friends and family that was with you, and the energy is just good. Yeah. So I'm sure, like, you're excited. So does this mean we're getting a Scarlet, like, project, or are you just dropping singles right now? There's a a project coming, okay. and Swiss Beats will be the executive producer. Wait, can, can we say that again? <laughs> I gotta get closer. You said there's a project coming, and who's producing it? Swiss Beats. How does that, oh, wait, so break it down, Scarlett. How does that even happen? How does Swiss get involved in this situation? He just, like, Swiss has always been, like, watching from the sidelines, you know, right. supporting where he could. And then it was just like, he told me, he was like, at this point, it's just time for me to step in. Mm. That's what he said. And he was like, listen, I want to produce your next project. Wow. And I was like, hell yeah. What do you mean? You're a legend. Like, right, right, right. You know what I mean? And, like, he produced a lot of DMX tracks. And, you know, like, I'm really inspired by DMX. Right. So it's like a dream come true, for real. High five. That's amazing. <laughs> she's, like, low-key with it, too. Um, shout out to Swiss. He, he's doing what he's supposed to do. I wanted to ask if I could borrow, like, a couple hundred dollars because I seen that you just you just won, like, that big check. Shout out to Nick Cannon. <laughs> oh Took home, God. what, like, five? How much you want, five you know, bands? Yeah, you know what? I had to pay my rent, Nick. And you gave me that five bands. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so the rent is paid. You caught so up. I'm caught up. Okay. She got a couple months before, you know, she got to pay the next, the next rent. So mm. did you, they give you the big check, but did you really get a, a $5,000 check? Like, they really gave it to you? Or was it just for... Yeah. So it's real. It's real. It's real. Okay, because sometimes... I know. I was like, is this true? Is this right. True? You thought it was just for, like... In the internet, like yo, it's just for the internet. <laughs> but Nick always helps out, like you know, right? For you, so I really appreciate him. How'd you get into that show? My manager. Oh, they plugged he it. it up. Yeah, he helped me with it. Nick Cannon is a big deal too. You around some like big people? Yeah. Does it does it <laughs> excite you, or you don't even I'm care? I'm so happy about this <laughs> because like I'm rap. You know, because you seen me the last time yeah, I was of course. there. Yeah, yeah, And I was just trying to get, find a way. Like, I just need a way in. Like, feel me? And, like, I'm very happy for everything. I'm so grateful for all of these legends that they don't have to help me. You mm-hmm. feel me? They don't have to plug me in. or they. Th- to me, their advice is enough. You know, right, their right, words of course. was enough. But they take the extra mile. Mm-hmm. It's like, wow. I'm so grateful. But I think it's just something 
about you, uh, energy about you that people just like, right? For your your team to want to invest in you, for yeah. DJs to want to, you know, support you, for OGs that are FaceTime and just to, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I see this happening, because I see it a lot, it's like, okay, this is going to end well. You know what I'm saying? This is going in the right direction. It's going to the right place. And I just want you to know that too. And, and we know you worked hard for a long time and you put your business out there, your life out there, but it's now coming together, right? So if we could just remind you of that and you just keep doing what you're doing, but just know it's going in the right direction, oh, right? Because I'm sure there's times where it's like, oh, this shit ain't doing Yo, nothing. But that time <laughs> when I was with like... right. I was like, what the freak am I going to do? But I just had to just keep grinding. And, and you stood consistent. Yeah. And I think you're proof. Like, there might be a young girl watching right now that's that felt like you did last year. And it's like, she just stood consistent and, and kept doing what you're good at. And and that is the example. And I know you, you take a little responsibility of, you know, showing the young girls and just young people your way so they could follow, right? There's videos I've seen where you put your business out there and just said to inspire other young girls. Yeah. So is that still something, you know, as Swiss Beats is producing your project, are you still able to stay humble and focus on that? Hell yeah. I'm so humble about it. Like, I'm focused on, like, you know, I always want to inspire, especially the kids that's been in my situation. Like, you know, I was in foster care. You feel right. Me? Like, I grew up, you know, I didn't have really a family and stuff. And, like, just to see, like, mm. these people that I watch... Growing up, these people that I'm inspired by texting me, good morning, and how right. you feeling today, and calling me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, so it's just, like, surreal. Like, and I'm just, like, I'm just mad, mind blown. Mm -hmm. like, I don't Wh really know, like. Who's been, like, the most surprised text or message? Shaq. Shaq. Like, what yeah, the yeah, hell? Yeah. Like, but Shaq be in tune. Yo. <laughs> like, Shaq just FaceTimes me. Right, but he hit you on, like, Instagram, Instagram first. Like, yo, yeah. send me your number. No, like, he hit me on Instagram, like, just supporting my music. Mm -hmm. You know me, I'm going to step in with Jack. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm going to push that button. <laughs> you know why they say, close mouths don't get fed. You right, feel me? Right. So I'm going to be like, if a person asks me, you need any help with it? Yeah. yeah. I need to yeah. help. Help, help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, Shaq has been a, a big, big support. Like, And I want to let everybody know, like, Shaq sent my music out to all the DJs. Wow. On his own. On his own. Nothing just to do it. That's crazy. Like, what? Right? Like, imagine you in the store, you from the hood, you from the Bronx and <laughs> shit, and you go to the store trying to get you some ramen noodles, and then you see Shaq calling you. You're going to be like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a billionaire. Ha like, have you met him yet, though? Like, have you pulled up on him yet? No. I, I, I shoot. Um, All right. So I got a su surprise for you guys. Okay. Another surprise. So first you gave us a Swiss B <laughs> surprise. Now she's giving us another one. Go ahead. Me and Shaq got a song dropping. Uh-oh. And we're shooting a music video today. Today? Today. With Shaquille O'Neal. With Shaquille O'Neal. Is he rapping on the song? Surprise. Oh, we got. We just got to <laughs> wait for it. We just got to wait for it. But shout out to Shaq. Yes. Scarlet in the building. Um, Real quick, right? Because this might be the first time somebody's watching this interview. We just dropped a bunch of gems. Mm -hmm. Scarlet, I know the story with your brother, but... Give us the short version of how you came up with the name and clearly what happened to your lip. Yeah, so I come up with the name Scarlet because obviously I have a scar on my lip. And, like, you know, like, growing up, people used to make fun of my lip, you know, talk about my lip, and it made me, like, insecure and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, like, it made me didn't feel pretty. It didn't make me feel beautiful. And then I was just like, let me just embrace it, you know? Like, and I was also inspired by Scarface. You know? Right. So I was like, let me just call myself Scarlet. So it's like, nobody got nothing to say no more. Right. They can't tease me. They can't laugh at me. This is who I am. You know? And I got the scar on my lip because I was attacked by my brother. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And if you go to her IG, you've done freestyles where you kind of like talk about the whole story and, yes. and stuff like that. And listen, now with the scar on her lip, executive produced by Swiss Beats, songs with Shaq, and this is just the beginning. Cause I'm sure there's a lot, a lot she's a lot she's not telling us, but right now this is New York. That's the single. Go run that up. Um, anything else that we should be looking forward to? Um, I'm shooting a music video this Saturday, and um, just wait on the projects. Scars and stripes. Scars and stripes. Yes. 
coming? Coming soon. Is it coming like in the summertime or? A, a, a little after. Around summertime. Around summertime. We putting it together. It's, yeah. And there's no rush for that for the project anyways. Yeah. Just keep dropping your singles, keep running it up, and just keep being you. Thank you so much. The new movement. High 97, DJ Drewski, Scarlet in the building. Let's go. 